It's March 17, 2020, and I'm making this video to explain why every church and every organization should cancel all of their physical meetings, no matter how big or how small. This coronavirus pandemic, it's changing day by day and hour by hour, according to the information that we keep learning and how it keeps evolving. And I think this should be obvious to everybody, but I'm shocked and I'm even embarrassed to say that I know churches and pastors who up until yesterday uh, still did not cancel their Sunday worship and their daily morning prayer and their other gatherings. And I feel like it should be obvious, but I, I know that mentality. Oh, we have faith. We're fine. It it's just a little worse than the common flu. And we need to keep meeting. But people need to realize that they're not only are they putting themselves at risk, they're putting other people at risk. This should be obvious. Jesus taught the golden rule in Matthew 7, 12. He taught, treat others the way that you would want them to treat you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. This summarizes the whole Old Testament. Treat others the way that you would want them to treat you. Put others first. And very importantly, learn how to put yourself in the shoes of other people and get their perspective. Uh, many, many years ago, my church invited city officials, county officials, state officials. It was a big gathering. And someone in our church bragged that even when it snows a lot, we, we never cancel our Sunday worship because we're tough. We're not weak and we're convicted, and we have faith, and this is important to us, and we have a mission. And the city and county officials kindly said to us, when there's snow and ice on the streets, please cancel your Sunday worship. Because when you and your church members get stuck on the highways and on the roads, you're utilizing precious resources that are necessary during that time of snow and ice. They said, please cancel your Sunday worship when there's snow and ice on the streets. Not for yourself, but for the greater good. Obviously, this virus, as it is now, is, is much more serious than a big snowfall. And please listen to the CDC and other experts and officials who know what they're talking about and cancel your physical gatherings. This is a real discipline, a spiritual discipline for us Christians. It takes a lot of strength and effort. I, I'm personally going stir crazy. I have cabin fever, but the best thing to do for yourself and for others and for society is to self-quarantine and cancel your physical gatherings. Whether you're a church or any organization, please cancel your physical gatherings. Thank you for listening. I wish you and your loved ones well. Let's get through this together and see you on the other side.